What's up beauties? It's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way to put your weave in without sewing it, without gluing it, none of that. Um, I will say this is probably not ideal if you're wanting to keep in these tracks for more than one day or one night, but it is very quick and easy if you just need a really quick look for an event or anything like that. So today's hair is from West Kiss. I do have three bundles, a 12 inch, a 14 inch, and a 16 inch. They are straight bundles, Brazilian hair, and they're about 100 grams each. So they're not super, super thick um, for those of you who do like thicker hair, but they work pretty well with my natural hair type. I am obsessed with the ends of this hair. It's kind of like between a blunt and natural cut if you will, leaning more towards natural, but it's pretty straight across and I love it. So let's get started. I am letting my hair free. I know we look a mess, but just let it free, girl. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is decide what type of part you want. If you want a middle part or a side part, and then I'm sectioning off like, I wanna say a centimeter or two around the part that I made, and this is all that's gonna be our leave out. Make sure that you do leave room in the back because you don't wanna see tracks when you bobby pin them in and then you can see them and it's not cute. So make sure you do part a little section in the back to cover that up as well. So I'm just clipping that up out the way. Once that's all tied and out of the way, I am gonna go ahead and make two braids with the rest of my hair that's out. Real quick right here, I just brushed down some of my baby hairs and smaller, thinner hairs. Just to get those out the way, I don't want those in the braid and I don't want any of the tracks attached to that. So I just divided the hair in two and did two braids. Nothing special, you can do twists, you can braid it differently if you want to. Um, try and get it as flat as possible. Obviously you can see on one side, the braid is not laying as flat as the other side, but it's cool, you know, it doesn't, you're fine. All you're gonna need for this method besides the hair are bobby pins. So I am taking two bobby pins and just gonna cross those braids that I made in the back and bobby pin each one to each side. So as you can see, the parting in the back is not really straight. It doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. Um, and I bobby pinned each side, so I'm kind of getting this cute little renaissance look <laughs> right there you know we're gonna first start with the 16 inch weft so i did go ahead and unravel that like i said it is 100 grams plus or minus five depending on i mean obviously everything's not cut super super evenly so yeah it's 100 plus or minus five grams and starting with the side where the bundle is connected not the piece where they're separated you're going to start with that side with one bobby pin in there and you're just going to bobby pin it onto that lower section so kind of like if you were doing clip-ins except without clips you're using bobby pins so you're doing that on one side and then you just bring it over to the other side and bobby pin that and you literally just do that all the way up until you get to your um your leave out and I will occasionally put a bobby pin in the middle to hold that in place I also by the way I forgot to add this recommend that you use new bobby pins do not use older bobby pins that are kind of loose because they will fall out and they're not very secure and you don't want your tracks just like falling out <laughs> while you're walking down the street or bobby pins just like falling from your head so make sure you do have the newest bobby pins if you don't want to buy a pack I got these from like Vons they were a dollar um, if you don't want to buy a pack and you do have some just laying around just make sure that they're really tight still um, and there's no gap in between the bobby pin so yes like I said we are just going back and forth bobby pinning each side it's a really simple method so this is what it looks like after the 16 inch bundle is all bobby pinned in as you can see right here um, we do have a little bit of like bumps basically so I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that right now because once I add the other bundles in probably not gonna see it again but I do want it to lay as flat as possible so yes go ahead and do that now we are taking the 14 inch again starting with the side of the bundle that is connected and we're just gonna bobby pin that back and forth ear to ear basically that's all it is is an ear to ear bobby pin um, with occasional bobby pins in the middle to keep it keep it doing what it's doing all right so we've got two bundles in last is the 12 inch um, again ear to ear just keep going since we are doing a side part um, a lot more of this 12 inch bundle is laying on the what side of my head is this right left on my <laughs> on the screen it's the right but it's my left side of the head I'm just going back and forth there until I reach the leave out now I don't like it looking too thick on this side so you'll see right here I am going to cut that weft because it is doubled I like to bobby pin them doubled so I cut that off so I'm just going back and forth with that single weft until I run out of space on my head and um, cut that excess bit off too so this is what we ended up with so now that we're done bobby pinning everything in I'm just gonna go ahead and take the leave out out and um, 
find that part again, girl. There it is. All right. And as you can see, that clearly does not blend a mess. So go ahead and until that water hits. Girl, if it was raining, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> um, go ahead and take your straightener and um, make that blend. Make it do what it do. And that is basically all for the application process. Now, if you want to go in, clean it up, trim it, do what you want to do, go ahead. I did go ahead and trim the ends just a little bit to make them a little bit more of a blunt cut. Um, but I really did like the blunt natural look that it did have. I was going to leave it straight, but I was like, you know what? This looks like more wholesome and cute. So let's do it. <laughs> I went ahead and curled all of that. And I curled my natural hair with the bundles so that looks more natural as well but that is pretty much all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said this is good for just like if you have a quick event to go to and you're like oh my gosh girl my hair looks a mess what do we do i have done this on a few occasions and my hair did not fall out so it worked out really great but i don't recommend sleeping in this because it's just like too tight on your head i feel like go ahead and fix your baby hairs if you want to and that is the completed look so i hope you guys enjoyed it this is a very fast and easy way to get your hair laid and slayed really quickly i will have all of west kiss links in the description box below so be sure to check them out the hair is beautiful it's super soft it's bouncy as you can see and i love it so much so thank you again for watching be sure to tap the bell notifications to be notified when i upload if you're new here don't forget to press subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, y'all.